seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. Yeah! When we send Bongo Head and Bunnies into action, it's like clockwork! And we ain't about to stop ticking! <sighs> Time to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! Why did you hold back? Don't blame Pyro One, Hania. And don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well matched opponent until you fought Miko, and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Hania, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters, too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns, and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Enough! Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. <laughs> For the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how, when your mindset is so childish? Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro One along for the ultimate trial? The man, all fungi under their control, report to me instead. So, this whole tournament, it was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you! And now you're gonna make them all into your evil minions! 
Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, who left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui, from the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi, tried to push past the limits, and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse with you still inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the Traveler? Is Cautilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Guy, Miko! Y you broke the domain ceiling spell? Please, you thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Layla, and Hania too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here. Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Huh? Look! Blitzar is back to normal! Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this Kirk down. <laughs> the backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses. Great! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! The victory is within our grasp! Bye, go ahead.
Fungi? This is absurd! Miko! Why didn't you stab him? Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! You're from the Core of Thirty! By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. Now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! -woo! That's a good call. However, Unfortunately, the Wisdom Orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment, so they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. Paimon sure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. So once the technical issues are all sorted out, and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's 